today we're going to discuss about single cell protein in principles and processing of biotechnology unit 8 chapter 4 so single cell protein so single cell protein are dried cells of microorganisms that are used as protein supplement in human foods or animal feeds so the microorganisms that is which produces from a single cell has high protein content and it is given as an food for food for uh, human beings and animal feed also the single cell protein scp offers an unconventional but palatable solution to protein deficiency deficiency faced by the entire humanity so the humans has a problem in protein deficiency you have heard about the word kvashir and marasmus these are the two protein disease and this can be come across while taking scp so you can get resolved from these disease by taking scp and even the some of them that is uh, proteins are the bodybuilders of our body so for that we need proteins to overcome this problem we can take scp and it is not a unconventional because you are taking directly as a protein as your food but we are taking indirectly protein in our food uh, like um, like um, the proteinaceous diet we are taking along with the carbohydrates daily but the entire food itself a protein which is used as single cell protein it is not unconventional because taking as a protein itself it's a diet conventional means you are taking indirect and it is from that digestion uh, your body absorbs the protein although the single cell protein has high nutrient value due to its higher protein vitamin essential amino acids and lipid content there are doubts on whether it could replace the conventional protein sources due to its high nucleic acid content and slower in digestible so the single cell protein has high nutritive value containing proteins vitamins amino acids and lipid content but there is still a doubt it can able to replace the conventional protein sources and because it has high nucleic acid content and slower digestion due to slow digestion there is no you don't have a um, you don't um, you don't have to eat unnecessarily so there is a problem in high nucleic acid content due to the high nucleic acid content the stones may be also formed and slower digestion it creates vomiting also so there is a doubt about this whether it contains high nutrients also there are some doubts microorganisms used for the production of single cell protein are as follows bacteria methylophilus methylotrophus cellulomonas alkali genes so these are the three organisms used in the production of a, a scp a, a from bacteria methylophilus methylotrophus cellulomonas alkali genes and fungi agaricus campestris saccharomyces cerevisiae canadi utilisus canadida utilisus agarico agaricus campestris saccharomyces cerevisiae canadida utilis algae spirulina chlorella chlamydomonas spirulina chlorella chlamydomonas from the the orga, microorganisms predict the, the scp production they may ask these three questions that is uh, in one mark they may ask they can ask in two mark and three mark also so keep it in mind and study this portion clearly it is an important portion also the single cell protein forms an important source of food because of their protein content carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals so they the, why they are becoming important source of food means they contain everything so protein content carbohydrates fats vitamins and minerals are present in a single cell protein and it is used by astronomers and antarctica expenditure scientists so when a scientist is going to the space or to the antarctic region there they cannot able to pre prepare their food by our traditional way uh, taking the gas stove uh, taking the rice bags it is difficult to carry instead of that they took the scp that is algae bacteria or fungi any of the seeds 
they take carry it along with and they cook and they prepare that is and they put the seeds on that and they take it as a tablet like structures okay so there the astronomers and the antarctica region scientists take the food uh, scp as the regular food while in their research research work spirulina can be grown easily on materials like wastewater from potato processing uh, plants straw molasses animal manure and even sewage to produce large quantities and can serve as food rich in protein minerals fats carbohydrates and vitamins so the spirulina is easily grown on waste materials that is waste water the potato potato washing water no that water uh, even the potato processing plant is uh, making of chips the lays chips like no there it can easily produce because it contains starch and from the straw molasses uh, animal manure and sewage also so it is easily to produce there and it has rich food content like protein mineral fats and carbohydrates and vitamins such uh, utilization also reduces environmental pollution so this um, uh, what this spirulina spirulina is uh, algae during photosynthesis what will what will uh, it uh, liberate the gas oxygen is a world so that oxygen is a purifier and it can easily purify the entire environment 250 grams of methanophilus methanotrophus with high rate of biomass production and growth can be exported to produce 25 tons of protein listen 250 grams of bacteria methanophilus methanotrophus can produce 25 tons of proteins remember 25 tons of protein can be extracted from 250 grams of methanotrophus that is methanophilus methanotrophus bacteria they may ask in one mark so 25 tons of protein can be get from the 250 grams of 250 grams of methanophilus methanotrophus applications of single cell protein it is used as protein supplement because the name itself indicates the protein so it has protein supplement it is used in cosmetic products for healthy hair and skin so for healthy hair and skin we need proteins the spirulina which enrich our skin and for healthy hair we need protein yet protein is for hair it is used as the excellent source of food for feeding cattle birds and fishes so for feeding birds fishes and cattle the single cell protein is used it is used as the excellent source of protein for feeding cattle birds and fishes it is used in food industry as aroma carriers vitamin carrier emulsifying agent to improve the nutritive value of baked products in soaps in ready to serve meals soups in ready to serve meals in diet recipes so there and all it is used as a, that is in food industry also it act, acting as an aroma carriers vitamin carriers it is used in the production of soups and ready to serve meals diet recipes also the scp was included it is used in industries like paper processing leather processing and foam stabilizers so these are the applications of single cell protein they may ask in your five mark question so it is an important five mark question in the applications of scp read it well so if you have any doubts post your doubts in the comment box hope you understand thank you for watching the video give a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel